Number 15. Lake City Pills when Reddit user Religion of Peace passed away in 2009, his friend, another Reddit user called 26, announced his passing on the forum in a moving remembrance. The post said, Religion of Peace had died at 79, a eulogy for a friend. Innocent enough, right? That might have been all there was to the story had 26 not posted. That old guy's image host. The Reddit world became obsessed with uncovering who Religion of Peace was and figuring out what in the world the old guy meant. Redditors began their search, and following Religion of Peace's activity on the site, some discovered he was moderating the board of the subreddit Jailbait and the old guy's image host, while it was the image host he used to run his uploads. The strangest thing, the site's URL was Lake City Quiet Pills, didn't really broadcast the fact that inappropriate content was hosted on the site. All of this didn't sit right with Reddit researchers. Then a breakthrough came. Messages were hidden in the source code on the Lake City Quiet Pill site. In 2009, the site's admin threw an additional message into the code. It said, ICQP, Milo died. This, most assume, is the real name of Religion of Peace, but it's the code below the passing announcement that really starts to get weird. For Italian Spanish speakers, no Euro, WW must be bondable, need five fluent Portuguese, no euro, WW, six month private gig. Now what's this kind of site doing? Cramming details of international travel in its source code. What does this all mean? There was also a gathering for Milo's will announced later in the code. It gets weirder. The code was updated to include the party's budget, which apparently cost nearly $100,000. It didn't take long until the plain text code was encrypted into ciphers. That's thousands of lines of code, similar to an internet numbers station. Gleeful Redditors were full of theories, but it's all fun and games until someone loses their life, and that's purportedly what happened. A link was discovered between one of the coded international assignments and an assassination in Dubai of senior Hamas military commander by a suspect whose credit cards were from MetaBank of Storm Lake, Iowa, nearby, you guessed it, Lake City, Iowa. This corresponded quite neatly to the theory that Lake City Quiet Pills referred to bullets manufactured at the Lake City Army Ammunition Plant. This also fit neatly into 26's signature on a FARC bulletin board, dispensing Lake City Quiet Pills to lousy bastards in need of a permanent rest since 1968. Though the mystery of Lake City Quiet Pills, Milo, and the gang have never been solved, seems as if the assassin theory is getting warmer. Number 14. The Markovian Parallax Denigrate This age-old internet mystery hit the scene in the early 90s. In fact, it's the oldest unsolved internet mystery out there, and it all started on Usenet, a web chat community that existed before web chatting became a real thing. Markovian Parallax Denigrate was the username of an individual who delivered some of the strangest spam the world has ever seen. Some Usenet users reported it when they realized that random words or phrases that appeared in messages across the community boards indicated that the spammer was of human intelligence. One of the pieces of spam read, Jitterbugging McKinley A. Break Newtonian Interfering Ka Update Cohen Air Collaborate Rue Sports Writing Rococo Invocate Tussle Shadflower While the message may seem like nonsense to you, some Usenet users saw something in this spam. These messages filled discussion groups by the hundreds. Despite the fact that the most computer-savvy individuals in the community had examined these messages and tried to uncover how and who created and distributed them, nothing and no one could be nailed down. Eventually, Usenet gave way to the World Wide Web, and the unsolved mystery of Parallax and his disorientating unarchived spam were forgotten. Two decades later, and a Reddit user named A858DE45F56D9BC9 is churning out similar spam in the shade of strings of numbers. A858 stumps the community as well and will appear later on this list. Perhaps it's the Markovian parallax denigrate up to his old tricks. Someone please solve this internet mystery already, before it does my head in. Number 13. Internet Black Holes A black hole in outer space is something whose gravitational pull sucks matter and radiation into a mysterious dimension and basically disappears it to a place that no human will ever know. These exist on the internet as well. If you've ever sent an email zipping through the web, normally it arrives within seconds in the inbox of your correspondent, right? But sometimes they never get the email, or they claim they did in any way. This is due to a thing called the internet black hole. We know as little about these collapsed stars as those in our universe, 
Nothing at all. They are one of those unsolved internet mysteries that exist in cyberspace. They suck information in and don't spit it out again. These mysterious black holes have existed as long as the internet has. It's been almost universally acknowledged that sometimes data simply doesn't reach its destination. But where it goes, no one knows. The greatest minds of internet technology have investigated the matter. Everyone from hackers, government IT agencies and technology firms, and yet no one has traced one of these inexplicable blips of data to its arbitrary destination, which leads some to believe in these mysterious vortexes that suck the data in and send it to some unknown oblivion. Others believe these so-called black holes aren't internet malfunctions but, rather, a purposeful rerouting of information in order to collect user data. In fact, this may be true in some cases. In 2013, one suspected black hole supposedly rerouted personal information from US users to a suspicious address in Iceland. Why? What for? Are people stealing your data this very second? Or are we destined to be as ignorant of internet black holes as we are of the real thing? This phenomenon is beyond me. Number 12. Bitcoin Inventor Satoshi Nakamoto Do you know him? Yeah, neither does anyone else. And yet, the inventor of Bitcoin, the online currency that's now utilized all over the world, is famous, infamous one might say, for being a wealthy, ingenious, and top secret shadow. In 2008, Nakamoto published a paper that was released on the cryptography mailing list, which basically invented Bitcoin protocol. Bitcoin's team was open source, and though Nakamoto worked with others, he never mentioned anything about who he was or what he did. Then, as suddenly as he came, he vanished from the Bitcoin forum. With his last post regarding building a new DOS, Satoshi Nakamoto isn't even the inventor's real name, so some have surmised that it could even be an entire group, not just an individual. What we do know is that Nakamoto was rolling in bitcoins, with around a million to his name, converted to US dollars, that's been valued at anywhere from 400 million to 1 billion, which is why his gold mine is now termed the Bitcoin Billion. Needless to say, the inventor, whoever he may be, is filthy rich. The last anyone heard from the mysterious Nakamoto was when he told someone in 2011 that he'd moved on to other things. Perhaps these other things involve settling down in a tropical paradise and retiring on his big Bitcoin payout. Then again, Nakamoto has never once pulled a coin from his internet wallet. So who is he? Where is he? Why did he invent a new global currency and then disappear into thin air? Will he retire on a desert island with his billion dollar bank account someday? And most importantly, will this internet mystery ever be solved? Come out, come out wherever you are. Satoshi Nakamoto, we're dying to meet you. Number 11, Oct 28, 2011. Have you ever wanted to join a cult? Well, if you were online in 2011 and didn't hop on Oct 28, 2011, you just missed your chance. Oct 28, 2011 seemed to be a recruitment page for some dark and ominous cult. When the website popped up with this future date, alongside a strange text that mentioned mysteries behind the eyelids, it had many internet users up in arms. What did it all mean? The date, October 28th, 2011, fell by the wayside, and nothing happened. By then, people started to give the number a ring, and calling the number, they'd hear an eerie silence, and then a beep loud enough to burst an eardrum. Some some claimed to have heard distant but distinctive breathing. Others heard voices that were described as awful and muffled. One caller couldn't even describe what he'd heard. It was so disturbing and disgusting. And another very imaginative caller claimed to have heard something very heavy being dragged across the floor. It's him again. Someone whispered into the phone when one caller phoned the number six times. Granted, if this was my number and someone kept calling, I'd probably say the same thing. The strangest thing is when Reddit just started nosing in to investigate, the site suddenly went dark. Perhaps the site changed hands, because banner ads are now plastered all over to glean some revenue off those still curious in Oct 28, 2011. Nothing more of the ominous cultish page remains. We just wonder if anyone got recruited through their phone call. Number 10, A858. As mentioned previously, a Reddit user, similar to the Markovian Parallax Denigrate, appeared in the Reddit community five years ago. This subreddit thread, called A858DE45F56D9BC9, was comprised of only jumbled letters and numbers. Believing the hodgepodge of numbers and letters was a code of some kind, Reddit users started trying to decipher the posts. Redditors poured their lives into it. Theories about the origin and purpose of the A858 thread were put forth. Some thought it was a test for recruitment. 
Similar to Cicada 3301, some proposed the idea that it was an artificial intelligence, others thought it was an insidious government program. Of course, it didn't take long for Redditors to jump on it and try to solve it. The original subreddit creator offered no advice or encouragement. However, occasional breakthroughs in decoding some of the random numbers were encouragement enough. In August 2015, in the forum dedicated to decoding A858, hexadecimal change started to appear. Robert Guthrie of The Colonel, who was investigating the matter wrote, it left the amateur code breakers with perhaps more questions than answers, but also with a renewed enthusiasm. But the enthusiasm had stalled somewhat, since the subreddit went private and users were advised to unsubscribe, with a message saying A858 had concluded. That hasn't stopped everyone, however. Some are still going at the archived posts, trying to decode them in their entirety. I only hope A858 actually has a purpose, one of these determined code breakers said. I don't particularly care if it is a good one. From the mystery surrounding it, it may not be. Number 9 The Mysterious Time Traveling John Titter Ever wonder what the future holds? John Titter doesn't, because he lives in the future. Titter began appearing on a number of online bulletin boards at the turn of the century. In 2000 and 2001, he claimed to be hailing from the year 2036. His first post was on November 2nd, 2000 in the Time Travel Institute forum under username time travel underscore O. His earlier messages were short and sweet, discussing general time travel, but in January, he began posting in Art Bell BBS forums under the name John Titter. And this is when things started to get weird. Titter claims to be an American soldier based in Tampa, Florida, who was assigned by the government to a time travel project. According to Titter, his grandfather had been one of the first assemblers and programmers of the IBM 5100, and so he had been sent all the way back to 1975 to snap up one of these ancient models. In 2036, apparently, they needed it to debug several legacy programs. He cited personal reasons as to why he showed up in the year 2000 to bandy about on online message boards. He claims that he was collecting pictures of his family that had been lost in a civil war that was imminent. As a military time traveler, Titter began predicting the future to show he was the real deal. Some of his predictions were very vague, and others not so much. He claimed that events beginning in 2004 would wreak havoc on the world, destroying most world powers, and leaving America broken into five different regions after a nuclear attack sent the infrastructure and environment into shambles. Of course, Titter's predictions didn't come to pass, but that doesn't mean they didn't build curiosity about a nuclear holocaust and provoke numerous investigations by journalists, both real and amateur, into the originator of these posts. An investigator in 2009 linked Titter with a Florida entertainment lawyer named Larry Haber and his brother John, who was a computer scientist, but their involvement was never proven, leaving the internet mystery unsolved. Number 8. The Mysterious Dark Web and Deep Web one of the greatest mysteries of the internet is the invisible hidden portion of the World Wide Web. Your average search on Google will lead you to the contents of the surface web, but there is a portion of the internet that isn't indexed by Google, Yahoo, or other search engines. It's called the Deep Web, and as the name suggests, it can be deeply mysterious and even disturbing. The Dark Web is a portion of this non-SEO content, not to be confused with the Deep Web, which can be used for such common things as banking and email. The Dark Web, although also inexpensive, accessible through traditional search engines, was made inaccessible for a reason. It's a portion of the deep web that was hidden on purpose, designed as a black market for illegal activities. The deep web in general is obscure because traditional search engines, when casting their nets across the world wide web, can't catch the contents in some parts of the web as it's buried too far down in sites. A 1996 article by Frank Garcia termed this phenomenon as the invisible web. He described websites that you might find on the deep web as follows. It could be a site that's possibly reasonably designed, but they didn't bother to register it with any of the search engines, so no one can find them. You're hidden. Dennis Shezdikoff used the following iceberg analogy to describe the difference between the deep web and the surface web. It is impossible to measure and harsh to put estimates on the size of the deep web because the majority of the information is hidden or locked inside databases. Early estimates suggest that the deep web is 400 to 550 times larger than the surface web. However, since more information and sites are always being added, it can be assumed that the deep web is growing exponentially at a rate that cannot be quantified. Although not an unsolved mystery in and of itself, there's plenty of mystery into what exists in the deep web. And worst of all, we'll never know what's all out there. Number 7. 
Cicada 3301. The paranormal board on 4chan opened up the Pandora's box of unsolved internet mysteries, Cicada. Cicada was a basic image posted on the board on January 4th, 2012. The white text backdropped in black read, Hello, we are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a message hidden in this image. Find it and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few that will make it all the way through. Good luck. Sign 3301. Many wondered where this text originated. Could it be some hacker group, an intelligence organization, a crime syndicate, or a hoax to drive the internet mad? If it was the latter, it succeeded. And what could the image of the cicada that followed the post possibly mean? This was a puzzle worthy of Sherlock Holmes, and some Holmes-esque highly intelligent individuals did indeed solve it. They were required to crack codes, manipulate images, and travel across the world to specified coordinates where they collected clues. Still, the objective of the cicada puzzle was never revealed in full to them. One of the highly intelligent made it to the end, but to this day, has no idea what is up with this internet mystery or who its organizers are. Once he'd solved the puzzle, he was provided access to a site on the dark net, more on that later, where he was tasked with developing cakes, the Cicada Anonymous Key Escrow System. Additional puzzles followed during the next two years, and when the puzzle in 2013 began, those that completed the 2012 puzzle, the Broad as they were termed, were suddenly dismissed from Cicada 3301 without explanation. No new puzzles have appeared since. And still, no one knows the purpose behind Cicada 3301, who the puzzle taskmasters are, or what they wanted. Did they achieve their objective? To this day, it remains one of the most intriguing unsolved internet mysteries. Number 6. Heaven's Gate Cult while earlier cult mysteries on this list have been speculative, Heaven's Gate cult really did exist and, in fact, all members purportedly took their own lives 20 years ago by swallowing a deadly combination of applesauce and arsenic, and yet some in the cult seem to have betrayed the pact. Heavensgate.com, once a recruiting page for the cult, is still a fully functioning page full of links to its crazy cacophony of dogma mixing UFOs, aliens, Jesus, alien prophets, and comets. There are also plenty of video recordings, testimonials from students and their leaders from the mid-90s before the group took their own lives. They did so because they wanted to subliminate to the spaceship that followed the hale Bob comet. Yep, you heard that correctly, but that's not even the most mysterious thing about the site. Someone still seems to be alive and kicking as they fill any orders requested and even answer emails, calling themselves Tella or simply We. The guardians of HeavensGate.com aren't hardcore cult members, but rather a couple who were left behind to take care of the site and the cult's legacy. Why and for what? That's the mystery. Still though, the pair claim they are not former cult members. They must be super bummed that they didn't make it onto the spacecraft. Number 5. Creepy Video with Masked Man Purportedly, a Swedish tech blog was sent a DVD they probably wish they'd never seen. Although not quite as haunting as The Ring, the cryptic video contains satanic imagery and warnings in both the video and audio. An individual in a black bird mask Old school doctor's gear and a shroud is at the center of the grainy video. During the two minute video, obnoxious screeching sounds are heard in the background as the figure raises its hand, one of which contains a blinking light. Morse code flashes into the video clip. As soon as the blog was up, the internet was swirling with theories. Could it be some sadistic person or group looking for a laugh? A satanic cult recruiting followers? A prediction of the future? A clue about the past, those who love puzzles began examining the video. The Morse code that flashes, 38.897709, negative 77.036543, turned out to be the coordinates of the White House. The screeching white noise of the audio was deciphered using a spectrogram. The images show a woman being restrained and tortured, along with the eerie sentence, you are already dead. The origins of the file are a mystery. Turns out someone tried to upload it to YouTube twice before, under the account name AETBX. This uploader was asked about where he found the video, and he claims that an acquaintance had uncovered the disc in a park outside Spain and delivered it to him. He said he didn't create the file, nor did he send it to the Swedes who later uploaded it to their blog. Was this a hoax, a viral campaign of sorts, a marketing stunt? It remains a mystery. Number 4. The Mysterious Chip Chan 
The South Korean mystery of Chip Chan is quite a creepy one. She was broadcast in 2008 on a live webcam stream on 4chan, her body unmoving and contorted for nearly 10 hours. Most viewers assume she had passed away, but no, she is alive and well. But who is she? No one knows. Chip Chan was discovered on 4chan's X paranormal board. She is believed to be located in Seoul, Korea, but exactly where, no one knows. According to Chip Chan, a very chip had been placed within her body by a corrupt cop known as P. This chip controls her movement, and whenever she discovers where it's been implanted, P changes its location. She thinks it's been implanted in her brain now, and she will soon pass away of cancer. Is there any truth to Chip Chan's story? If so, why would the police do this to an innocent woman? Who is Chip Chan and what is her history? Someone get over to Korea and dig up some dirt. Number 3. Cryptic Websites there's plenty of garbage on the web, but some of this garbage has surfers scratching their heads. One website is 973-eht-namuh-973.com, with a title page full of symbols, numbers, and phrases that don't make sense to the common man. Some may theorize it's artificial intelligence, but click on the arrows and you may second guess that thought. You'll enter into one of the most bizarre slideshow galleries of your life, disturbing pictures and paintings creepy words and nonsensical phrases, random strings of letters, could be just some creepy human trying to unsettle visitors. What does it mean? Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. Number 2. The Celebrity Cache Do you remember the cache of personal celebrity pics that was distributed for the world to see? Again, 4chan was the chosen site for the culprit to release all of his or her high-profile stolen goods. The anonymous user posted private photos of celebrities which he'd stolen from hacked iCloud accounts. Of course, the victims were mainly women. Women like Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, Kim Kardashian, and Michaela Malroney. The hacker or hackers involved are still a mystery. Although the FBI has been investigating the matter, Apple confirmed that this was a targeted attack. We're not professionals, but we could have guessed that much. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. Tom Ling's Strange Sites Go to Mortis.com If you want to be completely perplexed, the website consists of a single page with a username and password box. Nothing lies beyond it, at least nothing we can see. Computer experts determine that, in fact, Terabytes of info are hosted on the site, but no one knows what. Only the person with the right username and password. That person would likely be Tom Ling. The owner of the mysterious site owns a multitude of similarly weird sites, such as Cthulhu.net, another one-pager with only the words, dead but dreaming, written in white against a black backdrop. Again, no explanation or directions. Nowhere to click. Of course, theories abundant as to what the site's purpose was. Was there some puzzle to solve? Was it there for nefarious reasons? Apparently, the FBI thought it was the latter because they shut it down. No explanation was given. This only led to more conspiracy theories. Some believe Tom Ling wasn't an individual but a group, and a shady government group nonetheless. Mortis.com was also removed. Some say that right before it was pulled down, a countdown had begun on the bizarre page. What was Tom Ling counting down to? We can only guess. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!